Hello and welcome to another episode of Reason at Large. I'm Craig Biddle. Today I want to answer a question from Eric, um, and this is uh, a little deeper into moral philosophy than, than I normally go in these videos, but this is a great question and uh, it's, uh, I have uh, some, some interesting thoughts on it. Eric says, Objectivism holds that morality presupposes the choice to live, but why should I choose to live? Um, and I don't mean to be uh, flippant, but uh, the answer to that question is that you don't need an answer to that question. Uh, it, it's actually an illegitimate question to say, why should I choose to live? Um, and here's the reason. The, the entirety of the objectivist ethics is based on the idea that the only reason that people need values is in order to live. You don't need values for anything else. That's that's the whole point. Uh, you need values in order to live, and in order to live, you need values. That that's sort of the the idea of the objectivist ethics. Um, so uh, life makes values possible, uh, and life makes values necessary. You can't seek values unless you're alive, and you don't need to seek them unless you want to remain alive. Um, and I've written on this extensively in my book, Loving Life, and uh, and elsewhere. So I don't want to rehash all of that here, but I wanted to lay the groundwork there because what Eric is asking for here is an answer to a question. But an answer to a question is a value. A, a reason is a value. You, you, don't need a, you don't need values. You don't need an answer to this question. Unless you choose to live, in which case the, the, the question is moot. So the, the one of the fascinating things and, and profoundly um, beautiful things about Ayn Rand's philosophy is that it's just based on, on the, the facts of reality and anytime we're talking about oughts or shoulds, like why should I do something, including why should I choose to live, we have to put it into the context of, well, why do you need values at all? And so a question like why should I choose to live is simply invalid. You, you don't need an answer to a question. You don't need any kind of value uh, unless you choose to live. Now, that said, um, one could ask legitimately, you know, why should I continue living um, given the, the, the stage of my life, or given what's going on in my life? Or why should this, you know, why should Joe, um, you know, continue uh, to make an, an effort to, to live and love life when, you know, is, to, to uh, paint a picture here, if somebody's dying of, of cancer and is in, you know, excruciating pain and they're, they're very likely, the person is very likely to die soon and there's no hope for him to live, um, he's, you know, if he stays alive for, for some uh, brief period of time, it's only going to be in pain. You could say, uh, you know, why should he continue uh, to live, uh, given the circumstances, it might be that he shouldn't. It might be that it would be better for the person to to leave life uh, because remaining in life is is too painful. I mean, uh, human life is not just uh, sustenance. It's not just remaining alive or keeping your heart beating. It's living as a human being. It's it's being able to pursue. Uh, the kinds of goals that enhance your life and deliver happiness and um, and and make life wonderful. And if you can't do that, uh, then then you know the, the question should I continue to live can be valid. Um, but absent a context like that, absent the, the uh, you know a, a life that you can look on, look at and reflect and say, well, here's here's what's going on in my life. Here's the potential. Here's where I might be able to go, et cetera, et cetera, which we all normally have that, that, that to look at and, and to contemplate. So we can answer the question, you know, um, you know is life worth living? Yeah, it, you know, 99.999% of the time for people, it is. Um, there are very rare uh, cases, though, when somebody is simply too ill uh, or, or the situation is just too horrible. I mean, in a, in a concentration camp or something, if, if you've lost all hope and, and have good reason to have lost all hope, um, you know, I, I can see somebody asking the question, is, is it worth remaining alive? Um, but you can't answer the question, why should I choose to live without, uh, without you know, the context to surround it. And if you have the context, it's a, it's a fairly uh, uh, easy answer to, to arrive at in most cases. You go, well, what's going on in my life? I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got this great business, I've got this great family, I've got this great 
uh, this great life, should I keep living? Of course, you know, you, there's, there's lots to live for. Um, if, having asked those questions, somebody finds himself uh, not evasively coming up with the answer, oh, there's nothing to live for. I mean, if you're, if you're evading real potentials and you come up with the, uh, the answer, oh, no, life isn't worth living, that's immoral. You're pretending the facts rather than they are. But if you genuinely, after looking at all of the, the facts uh, of your, your situation, uh, determine at some point that, that uh, life is, is not worth living anymore, um, and you rationally make that determination, then um, there are instances in which it, it could be okay to, to answer uh, that question uh, uh, in, in the negative. Um, but the question, you know, again, sans context is an illegitimate question because it, it, at, at the question, sh you know, why should I live? It asks for a value when you, you simply don't need values unless you, you choose to live. You know, uh, once you decide to live, um, if you decide to, to remain alive, then you need values. You need to, um, you know, you need to use your mind. You need reason. You need purpose. You've got to choose goals and go after things. You need all sorts of values, you know, not just food, clothing, and shelter, but you need friendship and romance and liberty and all sorts of things. Um, and those needs, including answers to questions, those needs come into existence um, only if you do choose to live. So, interesting question from Eric. Thank you on that, uh, Eric. And, um, that's it for today's episode of Reason at Large. If you'd like to email me a question uh, for a future episode, I will definitely take a look. Can't, uh, can't promise that I'll answer it. I try to answer the, the uh, questions of general interest uh, or that I find uh, particularly interesting myself. Um, but I do read all the questions, and, um, and so uh, please send them my way if you have something you'd like me to address. Uh, you can email them, email them to cbittle at theobjectivestandard.com. Uh, Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.